Okay, so today's video is going to be on strength and why I'm doing strength. Uh, essentially, when most people talk about strength, they think about bodybuilders or weightlifters or elite sport athletes. And since most people don't fall into any of those categories, they tend to not think of weightlifting or getting strong as something that they need to do or should even consider. Uh, however, there's a lot of re reasons and benefits of weight training. Um, many of those benefits only increase as we age. It's something to consider as you get older. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the many benefits of strength training to explain why I started weight training and why you should add it to your weekly routine. But before I get started in the meat of, the, of this whole thing, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then hit notifications bell and select all notifications so you never miss any of my content. And don't forget to give a comment below. What do you think of my reasons for getting strong? What do you think about getting strong yourself? Do you have any questions? Do you have any other references or any reasons you yourself wanted to get strong or wanted to get strong? If you do, leave a comment down below and uh, let's start a conversation. All right, so first and foremost, there's uh, mental health. And I just wanted to talk about mental health for a moment. I know that's foremost in a lot of people's minds. The most important thing to remember is that it's long been held that exercise is essential for a sense of well-being. As far back as ancient Greece time, Greece, Grecian times, <laughs> as far back as ancient Greece, uh, Socrates said, quote, why even in the past process of thinking and not using our body, it is a matter of common knowledge that grave mistakes may often be traced to bad health. And because the body is in a bad condition, loss of memory, depression, and discontent often attack the mind so violently as to drive out whatever knowledge it contains. Okay, so it's pretty clear that it's commonly believed that what weightlifting and exercise have a positive effect on a person's mental state and may alleviate depression. But that's what people think or believe. But what about the science? So there is some contention about the benefits of exercise on mental health. For example, in an article on the U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health website titled The Relation of Physical Activity and Exercise on Mental Health, C.B. Taylor et al. The article says, quote, the strongest evidence suggests that physical activity and exercise probably alleviate some symptoms associated with mild to moderate depression. The evidence also suggests that physical activity and exercise might improve self-image, social skills, and cognitive functioning and reduce the symptoms of anxiety. But the article concludes that, quote, recommendations for further research on the effects of physical activity and exercise on mental health are made. So, and I'll link the uh, links to, or I'll put the links in the description to all these articles. So while it's far from settled, additional studies have also found positive effects. In a study in preventative medicine titled Physical Activity and Mental Health in the United States and Canada, Evidence from Four Population Surveys, Thomas Stevens, PhD, found that, quote, level of physical activity was shown to be positively associated with general well-being, lower levels of anxiety and depression, and positive mood. This relationship is independent of the effects of socioeconomic status and physical health and described younger and older members of both sexes. The association is particularly strong for women and persons age 40 years and over, end quote. Another study of 60 community dwelling adults over 60 years old with major or minor depression published in the Journals of Gerontology titled A Randomized Control Trial of High Versus Low Intensity Weight Training Versus General Practitioner Care for Clinical Depression in Older Adults found, quote, a 50% reduction in the Hamilton Rating Scale of Depression score was achieved in 61% of the high intensity weight training group. That's huge. That's a huge benefit. And then there are other studies as well. So clearly weight training has benef positive benefits to a person's sense of well-being and their mental health. Okay, fine. But you're not depressed, you say. You generally have a good outlook on life. Why should you waste your time lifting weights and trying to get strong? Well, keep listening. Keep watching. So here are some other benefits. Basic tasks. 
every day there are a ton of basic tasks we have to do from mowing the lawn, carrying in our groceries, walking our dogs, walking a block to get coffee. The truth of the matter is that every one of these basic tasks is improved when you're stronger. They're just easier and less tiresome. Then there's some of the less common tasks we all run into. Every one of us have had a friend who asks for our help moving them into their new apartment. And with a promise of beer and pizza, we happily accept. But by the end of it, we're worn out, tired, and sore. And the soreness lasts for several days. Why? Why should we be worn out, exhausted, and sore for days on end for the, over the simple fact of helping a friend? Simply put, it's because, generally speaking, we're weak. And that's not even considering some more unlikely tasks. God forbid you'd have to fend off an attacker. Or what happens if your home caught on fire and you had to drag somebody out? Would you be able to? What about jumping into a river to save someone from drowning? Being strong makes you much more able at all the above, however unlikely some of them are to happen to you. So what else could strength help? What are some other things? What about general health? When it comes to general health, there are many studies showing the benefits of weightlifting to your health. For example, according to sports medicine, weight training makes your heart stronger and increases bone density, all while increasing muscle mass and strength. And there's also a study in the clinician and technology showing that weight training has a beneficial short-term increase in blood flow, possibly allowing increased blood flow to more dormant regions of the body, providing nutrients that leads to faster recovery and health. And these are just two of the studies showing a vast array of health benefits that weightlifting, i.e. strength, provide. But what about other benefits? What other benefits are there? Well, let's take a look at testosterone. Like much of science, there are competing conclusions regarding the, fact, the effects of strength training on long-term testosterone increase. However, according to a study in Mechanisms of Aging and Development titled Effects of Progression resistance training on growth hormone and testosterone levels in young and elderly subjects. In that article, they state, quote, in conclusion, the data presented here indicate that strength training can induce growth hormone and testosterone release regardless of age, end quote. All right, so there's some of the science things. There's some of the clinical points that I wanted to make and go over. But what about the less sciencey things? What other benefits could there be? Are there some that are a little less difficult to quantify? Of course there are. There's quite a few. For example, there's some life lessons to be learned from strength training. Life lessons such as discipline. If you're not disciplined, you're not going to be doing much training. Lifting weights can also teach you humility and patience. And that's just to name a few. And these are just part of the journey. In his must-read essay, Iron in the Soul, musician and artist Henry Rollins says, quote, Try to lift what you're not prepared to, and the iron will teach you a little lesson in restraint and self-control. And nothing, end quote, <laughs> and nothing could be more accurately stated. No matter how many magazines scream at you that you can get strong, skinny, ripped, or whatever in six weeks or less, strength training humbles you, and you either get disciplined and patient, or you quit. So in the end, what does all this mean? It means that there are a ton of benefits to getting strong. Many of them are technical, medical, and specific. My favorite ones are those that are less clinical and more personal the changes in both body and mind, will and determination. A hard, weight, a hard weightlifting session wipes you out and leaves you exhausted, yet invigorated and feeling accomplished at the same time. And like building anything worthwhile, the final result is something you can be proud of. All right, guys, thanks for joining and thanks for listening to me. Let me know if you like this type of video where I, I overlay this on some of my weight training, uh, but just pick a subject and kind of go over it and my thoughts and considerations on it, dealing with health and wellness, diet, fitness. This one specifically is, is on strength. Mostly I just had to get out why I wanted to get stronger, um, kind of wrap my own mind around it, but also let you guys know what 
what my viewpoint is and what's a, what I consider some of the benefits and reasons why I think getting strong is you know not just for specific people that are elite athletes or that are doing it for a job, but I think it's for everyone. And I really think you should uh, to take a hard look at doing it. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to hit those comments. And if you do subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell and select all notifications. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye.